What's up everybody, in this video I have another iOS 7 video. Today I'm going to be going through my favorite hidden features that Apple didn't show you or the best hidden features that Apple actually didn't show you running iOS 7 on the iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. This video is going to be done on my iPhone 5 running iOS 7. So let's jump right into these hidden features that are my favorite hidden features that Apple didn't actually show you or the best hidden features that Apple didn't really show you that could actually change the way the operating system is run. So right off the bat, you can access your notifications off the lock screen by sliding down the notification center there. I don't have any notifications right now, but that is much easier uh, to access notifications. You can also access the control center from the lock screen, which is great. Uh, another hidden feature is you can slide to unlock anywhere, so you can slide all the way up here. You don't have to be down at the bottom like it used to be. Uh, also, right off the home screen, if you look here, basically it's 434, and as you can see, the clock uh, icon is actually live updating, and it actually says that it is 434 as well right there, live, as you can see. Uh, so it updates live. I would like to see this in the weather app as well, but actually right now it is only on the clock app, which is nice to see that Apple is finally having live icons, so hopefully they expand this to other apps. Um, also, if you go into the clock here, I'll go ahead and set a new timer. If you set a new timer and click start and then go into the lock screen, the timer will actually show underneath the time, as you can see right there, so you know what's actually what is going on with your timer from the lock screen. So it's good to see Apple's implementing new lock screen uh, ability to have notifications. Also, Spotlight Search is no longer all the way to the left here. You don't have to scroll like that. It's simply pulling down from the top of the device. As you can see, there's uh, the Spotlight, and it works just as well. And you can access it from any of the home screens, which is very nice. Also, they, act, they actually added a dedicated Compass app, which if you open up here and go to the... i got to calibrate it real quick right here. Let me do that. So if I go to the right here... If you scroll to the right, as you can see, the actual compass is a level. So you can actually level things and shows how well you are balanced here. So as you can see, get to zero. So it works as a level, which is a great tool for actually measuring things, which is very interesting to see that Apple didn't actually add a level tool, but they had implemented it into the compass, which is very cool. Uh, they also added a back gesture. So if I go here to Apple and then I go to, let's say, Google, and I decide to go back, I can simply scroll over to the page like so, like that. And that works in all of the apps. You can just slide to the left in all of the apps, which is great. Great functionality and works really well. Changes the way that the actual operating system is working. Also, you can actually put newsstand into a folder. So as you can see, if I grab newsstand here and bring it down to compass, it will allow me to drop that into a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here and put it back where it belongs. But it's great to see that you can finally do that. I know a lot of people had a problem with that. So hopefully Apple uh, keeps it this way as they release new betas. There is a new turning off animation when you go to slide your device to turn off. So if you click the top button here and then slide to power off, as you can see, it actually fades out, which is very interesting to see. I like it. Just a, another example of Apple adding a new animation to their operating system. There also is multitasking in landscape mode. So if I go here to actually back to Google and let's say turn it to landscape mode and then go to, uh, I got to turn off portrait mode here, but if I go to landscape mode and then go to multitask, as you can see, it works. Um, you can also, in multitasking actually, swipe multiple apps to get rid of them. So I can grab both of these and swipe up and as you can see, they're both out of there just in case you want to get rid of the multitasking apps very quickly. So that's very interesting to see the new multitasking features in iOS 7. So also with that is actually if you go into the camera here, I'll open up the video camera. My phone actually just glitched, so as you can see, iOS 7 is still a little buggy, so I'll wait for it to turn back on here before I continue this video. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But I'll, there we go, and I'll swipe it, and I'll go into the camera here, go to the video camera. Basically, you can actually zoom while filming, which is great to see. Great new functionality to actually allow you to get closer to whatever you're filming. And uh, no, I know I've been waiting for this for a while. A lot of people have, and I like that they included it. Also, if you go ahead and open up the Maps app here, I'll just open it up for you guys real quick and zoom out a little bit so you can't actually see where I am. As you can see, if you actually do the current location of where you are, there actually is a compass in the upper right, so you can actually see the compass. You can see what actually direction you're facing, which is a great functionality uh, in case you are actually out there in the wild and want to know where you are using the compass, so that's very interesting. 
Uh, also, FaceTime actually has a dedicated app, and you can do audio only, which is great to see. I know a lot of people wanted that, and I'm going to use that a lot instead of calling when I'm on Wi-Fi because it'll work better. Uh, but overall, that's what FaceTime has included. Uh, the App Store, if you go into the App Store, you can actually click a app, and you can go into the the uh, new share button up here in the top and actually add it to a wish list, uh, which is very interesting. So you can actually review it later and maybe people will gift it to you. Passcode, if you open up passcode here, also can, or passbook actually, can also scan a QR code. Actually, if you see this, you can actually scan a QR code directly into passcode and you can scan all of your cards directly there. So that's a new functionality that has been implemented. And also you can scan iTunes gift cards into iTunes uh, to actually save you some time instead of typing in the code. Uh, also, if you go into the, the phone app and start typing, you can actually see that the background, you can actually see through for a bit and see the background that you have there, uh, which is very interesting. I like it a lot, and I know that's a cool little animation. And finally, you can actually set a panorama, which I will go ahead and do right now as your wallpaper. Uh, let's say my panoramas. As you can see, here's a panorama. I can click it, I can click it, and I can click set both. And then if you go to the home screen here uh, and go back, you can see that it actually moves along as you move your device. So that's very cool. But overall, those are all the hidden features, my favorite hidden features in iOS 7 and the best hidden features in iOS 7. So if you like this video, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it as well as subscribe for more content. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my other vlog channel in the description. I update this channel and all of those regularly, so stay tuned for more content, guys. And also, if you want to get free, uh, or if you want to get paid iPhone apps or Android apps for free, go ahead and check it out in the description. I have a link for that. But overall, if you like this video, be sure to stay tuned for more content. I know it was a little long, but those are the best hidden features in iOS 7 for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more Apple content on iOS 7. Peace.